before the words even begin to form. Yeah, I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> having kind of a stressful day because I had a very hard time getting my eyelashes on and for some reason that has just put me off. I don't know why, but it's enough to ruin my day apparently. It hasn't, I'm actually fine. <laughs> So today I'm re actually re-filming something that I've tried to film and edit but honestly every time I watched it I was just fucking bored so if watching my own videos bores me how are you guys gonna feel so <laughs> we're re-filming. Basically today I'm gonna tell you a story about the time that I went to Mumbai with Connor. Uh, so this was after our two weeks in Vietnam which was amazing. Yeah. And after Vietnam, we flew on over to Thailand for like five hours and then we flew to Mumbai. The flight itself was shit. No, it wasn't really too bad. We were just kind of a bit squished. There was someone sitting in front of Connor and they had their seat like on his knees, like resting on it. Like they put it so far back that he was literally holding them up and halfway through the flight, he like put his legs apart and they fell and it was like, oh, there was big, big drama. Not really that big drama, but the people were just like really mad. But you shouldn't like squish people at like six one. So, you know, <laughs> anywho, I also got squished, but I'm like such a good human, didn't complain. I just like vested angrily. <laughs> so that was the flight. And then we finally make it to Mumbai. We're like, Ooh, let's get off this plane. I'm so excited. So we get off, we get off the plane. We're like, right, we need to get some monies. Slash Connor needs to get money out because I lost my FPOS card. Actually, it was in my laptop bag. Hi, look at my lips. They look like shit. I know, there's also lipstick on my teeth. But uh, yeah, we found it in my laptop bag when we got to England. Ha! Huh. Anyway, so we eventually find an ATM that actually works and gives us some money. And trust me, like, this took a while. We went through several different machines before we found one that actually worked. Then it was time to find a taxi. <coughs> the moment that I stepped outside into the underground car park, I was choking to death. Like, almost died. There was just a very loud bang and I don't know what it was. I had to, like, put something over my face just to walk around outside. It was, like, undercover. It wasn't like, this is what the year is like in India, no. Ah! anyway so we eventually found the stand where you go and you book your taxi and we prepaid for our taxi which very good well done us that was a very good idea cannot remember how much it was but i don't think it was anything too crazy so our bags are wrapped up in plastic because it's just like a safety thing when you're traveling you kind of want to like have your bags wrapped up in case anyone goes through it or anything like that so if anything's found in your bag that shouldn't be there you can be like bro it was wrapped up and you can clearly see that it's been temp tamper tampered with <sighs> things are going well look at my pineapple lumps that's a big container of heroes it's actually just got stationery in it now because i ate all the chocolate <clears throat> obviously anyway we were like Okay, so we start to book our taxi. I showed him the hotel form. I was like, look, this is where our hotel is. And he's just like, okay. This should have been a damn sign. Even the dude that was booking our taxi was like, are you sure that's where you're going? We're like, yeah. We get into this taxi. And the guy is like putting our wrapped up bags on the roof. Now, I like, I'm sure that'd be protected protected in the rain but like I'm still not happy with them being up there because it was raining I'm just like are you sure so we pull out anyway and we've got our small bags in the car our big ones on top of the car we get out as soon as we're out of the indoor car park he takes our bags off and puts them in we're just like well we did kind of tell you but whatever he did speak English and he did understand us definitely we had like short conversation I wrote my nail and another nail fell off okay <laughs> I have only this one left in this four I'm getting them done tomorrow this four didn't make sense, I'm aware of that. So we put some inside, so we're in with our bags and we go to the go to the hotel. We get about an hour down and I am shh. I, it is late, okay? It is late, it is night time, there is traffic around, we are like locked in traffic. It is bad. So we're sitting there, we're like, right, are we like close to this hotel? This dude's giving us nothing, he's not telling us how close we are. He basically it turns out he has no idea where the f we're going. And we're just like we get into this extremely busy, populated area. There are cows walking around. There are people walking around without shoes on. It was not the best area. A lot of poverty around, which was hard to see. And that's just the reality. 
So we carried on anyway, very, very slowly. Homeboy that is driving us winds down his window and he's stuck his head out and he's now yelling at people, like trying to find our hotel. And I was like, I've given you directions. Like I've typed it in on my phone. Sorry, not my phone, his phone, my phone died. Convenient, right? I'm like, I've typed it in on your phone, like this is where we need to go. And he's like, I don't know, like not comprehending. So he's asking, asking, asking. Eventually somebody finally tells us dude where the hell we're going. So it's literally, we've been in the taxi for about three hours now. This is something that should have taken under an hour, by the way. Like, I don't know what he did, but he took a wrong turn somewhere. So we finally get to this hotel. We had called the hotel on the way because we were worried about how late we were going to arrive. Every single time we called him, it came across like we called the wrong place, like he had no idea who we were and things like that. Well, that's a great sign, isn't it? So we get there, we go up the stairs. I'm trying to find the paperwork that says, like, we're staying here. We booked through booking.com. I cannot find that shit because, as y'all know, I lose everything. <sighs> I do eventually find it, and I did eventually find this, but by that point it was too late. <laughs> I can't find it. We're telling him our names. He's just not having it. And eventually he just says, we're doing renovations. This has been booked for so long. Like, we hadn't paid yet, and I was gonna pay, obviously, but we're just like, whatever, fine. And then his mates like well come with me my friend owns a hotel and we're just like well that's not dodgy at all so he picks up my bag so I'm carrying my laptop bag and my backpack and Connor's carrying his big bag his laptop bag and his small bag we've got a lot of bags okay we've moved across the world so we start going through these streets carrying our bags like this dude's like way ahead of us we're almost losing him he's got my bag so we cannot lose him and everyone's just like staring at us like they've never seen people like us before but we carry on anyway and we finally get to the next hotel. We climb up more stairs. Every single hotel apparently in this area is just like a lot of stairs to get up to reception. So we go up these stairs and we're just like, hey, like, can we stay here? They're like, we have a room but we don't have Wi-Fi. I'm like, no. I need Wi-Fi because I'm rebooking in another area. Okay, I need Wi-Fi. So back down the stairs we go with all of our freaking luggage to the next hotel. We climb up the stairs. There's like... Four young dudes there, they're all actually super nice, which is such a good change. Actually, the dude that was carrying our bags around, taking us from hotel to hotel, was actually really nice as well. <laughs> like, he carried my bag, and he was smaller than I am, and my bag was not light. So they're all talking, and they're like, we need to stay here, and we need Wi-Fi. Like, we have Wi-Fi, and we have a room, so we're like, oh, praise! This gentleman that has finally got us to a hotel. So I have I couldn't even tell you what the name of the hotel was. We booked in after I think it had been about five hours since we landed at this point. We get into our room, finally connect to the Wi-Fi. The first thing that I do is rebook our hotel in a different area. Um a, I don't know how to say this without being offensive. It was just a nicer area. Um we were right opposite a mall, which was and uh, it, it ended up being really good, but that hotel <laughs> that we did stay in, as much as like I am so appreciative of it, it was not great. When you flush the toilet, like water dead ass sprayed out the back of it. There is something wrong with that. <laughs> I, I couldn't find a shower for ages, but it was just like this little nozzle on the wall that kind of dripped out water. I was like, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> but the next hotel that we booked was absolutely amazing. It had a pool which overlooked like a mall which we spent every day at them, what was great. Um, actually, one time that we were there, I was sitting outside, I was sitting, I was sat outside the mall having a coffee, and this couple came up to me, and this girl just, like, dumps her baby in my lap, and I'm just like, um, hi? And they're like, can we take a photo? And I was just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, like, holding this little girl. She, she was actually so cute. I was, like, holding this little girl, and the stage just like, Thank you for those. I'm just like, okay. But uh, yeah, that was damp. That was my very uh, stressful first night in India. We spent the last couple of days just rejuvenating from the time that we had in Vietnam. And honestly, I wouldn't change anything because I saw more of Mumbai than I would have seen had I gone straight to the area that we ended up in. Oh yeah, side note. Ad additional information. 
the airport was about an hour's drive away. We did have that confirmed. So I have no idea what homeboy was doing in the beginning. And I don't know how it took that long. Maybe it was the fact that we got stuck in... <laughs> Maybe it was the fact that we got stuck in traffic for so long. I don't know. But he definitely took a wrong turn. <sighs> so yeah, that was my amazing first night in Mumbai. <laughs> The last couple of days on the trip were actually amazing and I would probably go back but I think next time I'll go on a guided tour so that I would have somebody look after me because apparently I can't look after myself. Okay, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me talking way too fast and getting confused with my words then don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to see this makeup look, it's either going to be on my channel somewhere or it's going to be up soon. <sighs> Breathe, woman. I've been Alex, you've been awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!